How often should you actually be changing your wedges? Titleist club fitter James Robinson is going to help us find out. So we see a lot on tour that wedges are things that people change the most. So how often should your typical club golfer kind of be looking at swapping the wedges out? We actually go through a process of heat treating each wedge um, in a localised area, kind of a grip between grooves two to six, which doubles their durability. So we're trying to do everything we can to make them stay as sharp and, and, and spin uh, uh, as much as possible for as long as possible. But unfortunately, through general play, wear and tear, they will wear a little bit over time, particularly if you're doing a lot of practice in bunkers and things. So the, the, the tricky thing is, is it's gradual wear. And what actually happens is as the groove edges wear, the flight generally comes out a little bit higher and it's going to come off with a little bit less speed, a little bit less spin. So it's giving you less control going into the greens, but you're not going to notice it over a period of time. So if you were to be able to test your current ones against a new one and check the differences between them, um, there's, there's a couple of things to consider and it's obviously dependent on how much somebody actually plays golf. But if the grip's worn, and you're going to replace the grip, the head's probably worn at the same time too. There's a brilliant video on, on the Vokey.com website where it actually shows fresh grooves versus grooves that are 75 rounds old and grooves that are 125 rounds old and it just shows you how much spin and control you're compromising the older your wedges get. So in terms of the different wedges in your bag, obviously people can carry three or four options, but presumably they're lob wedge they'd use more often. So how often do kind of tour pros change those different wedges in a set? Tour pros will generally change the lower lofted ones, pitching wedges and, and gap wedges, maybe once a season. Uh, and the lob wedges, if they're doing a lot of practice out of bunkers, it could be as often as three or four tournaments. They're, they're really desperate for the maximum amount of spin and control going into the greens. And we know that sharper grooves are going to enable the pro to stop the ball up next to the flag more, more consistently. And some club golfers might think, well, I can't hit those high spinning shots that tour pros hit, so does it actually matter how often I change my wedges? Interesting fact for you is if, if me and yourself and Adam Scott and Justin Thomas all stood side by side, 50 yards away from the green, our club head speed and our ball speed is going to be identical. It's around 50 miles an hour club speed, 50 mile an hour ball speed for a 50 yard pitch shot. So they're not doing anything different to what a club golfer is, but their equipment performs at the best. So they're using a premium performance golf ball and they've got very fresh grooves on their wedges, which is what gives them the spin going into the green that everyone can take advantage of. Yeah, so it's really worth people kind of constantly checking up on those wedges, making sure you've got fresh grooves because it's really going to give you a lot more performance around the greens. Absolutely. We know that if you can stop the ball that bit closer to the hole, a shorter putt is more holdable than a longer putt. So give yourself the opportunity by making more shorter putts. So for a really simple benchmark for someone, how many say rounds would you say someone should be sticking to and then looking at switching out? It depends how much they've played, but if, if an average golfer's out there once or twice a week, when they start getting sort of around that 70, 75 round mark, that should be definitely looking to consider making a change then. So it's almost like just over every year, maybe one and a half years, if you're getting two rounds a week in. A year, 18 months. The life cycle of our Vokies is two years. That could be a good chance to, to, to take advantage of the new technology as well. Yeah, definitely. So you're getting fresh groups and uh, new technology. It's definitely really key because even me and my job, like I know they spin more when they're new, but when I went to my SM9 fitting, I was like, oh my gosh, like I just forgot how good the grooves are when they're fresh so definitely worth making sure you're keeping them up to date to get that best performance absolutely and something that we'll say to a golfer if they come and see us at the national fitting center here and their grooves are particularly well worn we kind of need to give them a bit of advice to say if you're going to put these new sm9s in the bag that first time you take the wrappers off them you're going to have to be so much more aggressive with your pitches yeah. because you're going to um yeah be so used to it rolling out that bit further yeah Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions about any of these products or anything in the Titleist lineup, feel free to drop them in the comments below or send me a line on Twitter or Instagram. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head over to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.